How can we be more likable? That's a question on a lot of people's minds. And in this video, we're going to look at some of the pitfalls and common mistakes that people make when they're trying to be more likable. And we'll look at some concrete ways that you can begin to connect with other people more effectively. So let's get into those details. Hello there and welcome back. Alex Lyon, and this channel is called Communication Coach. All the videos here are for emerging leaders. And today's topic is a communication topic, really how to be more likable, how to relate better to other people. There are a lot of benefits to good positive relationships. And unfortunately, many people do the exact wrong things when they're trying to connect. So we're gonna look at the three common mistakes people make to be more likable, and then we'll look at some positive tips to move you in the right direction. So the first thing that people do wrong here is really they try to impress people. So don't try to impress the other people around you. When that is your mindset, you will tend to do lots of weird things that actually push people away. You might get long-winded and tell lots of stories about yourself. You might get super self-centered in how you process a conversation. You might start one-upping other people when you're trying to impress them. So if you hear that they went to a good school, you might talk about, well, how your school's really good too. Or you got a raiser promotion. Well, I got a raiser promotion too. And you start trying to one-up them and, and compete with them to impress them. And that will push people away. We don't want to be around one-uppers. We want to be around people who talk to us as equals. The second thing to avoid is you don't want to debate people in conversations. Nobody wants to be put down and to feel like you're competing with them in the moment. Now, a lot of people like to debate. A lot of people like to talk about those controversial topics and mix it up, and that's fine. But this video is not about how to win a debate. This video is about how to be more likable. And we tend to not like other people when they're trying to prove us wrong. We like people who have an open style of communication. So, don't try to win and beat the other person in, into submission through arguing with them. The third thing that people do to try to connect is to complain. Now, it sounds weird. Why would they try to complain to connect? But maybe you've been standing in a long line and you start complaining to the person next to you, oh, it was a long line, or the weather is horrible and you start complaining about that. There's some weird momentary satisfaction where we, you get to bond over the bad weather or the long line, but really in the long run, we don't want to be around people who are complaining and frustrated because that starts to be a cost on us. In fact, all three of these uh, topics to avoid, practices to avoid, are costs. When you interact with people like this, they're going to measure the costs. And then the next time they see you coming or have an opportunity to interact with you, they probably will decide not to. So really, I want to boil it down to this main point of this video as we transition to the positive tips, and that is the best way to make friends is to be a friend. That's an old expression that I heard many years ago. You've probably heard it, but it really is a life lesson. The best way to make friends is to be a friend. And the idea there is we want to be the kind of friend that we would want. You want to think about what you can offer in a conversation, in an interaction, not what you can get from the person. You wanna think about how you can be a blessing. We tell my son before he goes off to school or somewhere in the morning, we say, be a blessing to other people. Look for ways that you can benefit other people. So we're gonna talk about five ways that you can be more likable by being a giver in the conversation instead of a taker. And the first tip is to take an interest in other people. Take a genuine interest in the lives of the people around you. Get curious about their lives. Ask them questions about how things are going and really, really ask honest questions. Don't just do it to win points. Get genuinely curious about how their life is going. Communicate with empathy where you put yourself in their shoes. In fact, I have a whole nother video on how to communicate with empathy and I will put a link to that in the description below this video. That's tip number one, take an interest, a genuine interest in other people. Number two, be easy to talk to. You want to be low maintenance. You don't want to be high maintenance. You wanna be genuine, open, and, and avoid the kind of moves you see people make where they're crabby about things and they insist on that things happen in a certain way in the conversation or in the interaction or in the plans that evening. 
You want to be easy to talk to, be easy to be around. Don't be the kind of person who sends the food back at a restaurant three times because they can't get it just right. You want to be easy and low maintenance, not high maintenance. Number three, listen more and talk less. A lot of times, like I mentioned, when we're trying to impress people, we tend to get really long-winded. But what you want to do is go almost entirely into listening mode for long stretches in conversations. So really pay attention, close your mouth the best you can, make direct eye contact, smile, nod, really give those nonverbals. Listen completely and, and don't worry about what you'll say next. Just be in the moment. You know, the entire field of counseling and therapy is driven by good listening on the part of the therapist. And people really like to talk to their therapist because their therapist will listen to them. And very few people genuinely listen more. So this is something you give to people. This is, you're more likable simply by listening to them. It's, it's really amazing. So number four is look for a common ground. In conversations, again, you don't wanna be all self-centered about you. Look for things that you share in common. So if you both have a similar sports interest, talk about that. If you both have similar movie or TV show interests, you can talk about that. As you're talking to people, look for those common areas that you both share, those common interests that you both get excited about and talk about that. I struck up a friendship at work uh, many years ago because I found out that he liked to play the game chess. He liked to play, and then I found out he liked to play, I liked to play, so then during our breaks and over lunch at work, we would sometimes play chess together because we looked for common ground and it helped build a friendship there. And the fifth tip is probably the most valuable one. It'll take all the others and amplify them. Follow up. So if in a conversation your friend is telling you that he or she has a new job and they don't know how it's gonna go. In the next conversation, ask them, hey, how's that new job going? I remember you said you were concerned about it. How's that transitioning working out? If your friend injured his or her shoulder in a mountain biking accident and you see them a week or two later, say, hey, how's your shoulder feeling? How's that injury going? I know it was pretty radical. You know, what, what's going on? How do you feel? They will be really thrilled that you remembered something about them. People, you know, we don't have great memories. We're so distracted nowadays. But if you follow up, it'll show that you really were genuinely interested in them in the first place. Now, let's talk about application. What can you do with this? Well, I want to keep it really simple. I want you to pick one person in your life and practice these tips to be more likable. Avoid doing the things we talked about avoiding and take some of the tips to be more likable with just that one person. And, it, and if I suggest you start at home. So if you live with a family, for example, be more likable with your, your mom or dad or your spouse or your brothers and sisters, or if you have any kids, be more likable with your kids and try these tips out, put them into practice. Now, a little bit of a word of warning. Don't expect that these things are gonna work in an instant. Relationships are an investment, they take time, but I really do believe in the expression, the best way to make friends is to be a friend. There's really no other way it's, it's done well and done consistently over time. You have to be a giver in these relationships to be more likable. You can't be a taker. So take a look at these tips again and start putting them into practice. So thanks, God bless, and I will see you in the next video.